For the sake of clarity, the following points of law need to be stated. There is no law that demands that a man or woman should have to pay council tax. There is only the 1992 Local Government Finance Act, which being an Act of Parliament, can only be enforced with consent. This video is about exercising your right to stand under common law. This means not giving consent to a commercial court. All those assuming judicial authority have to swear an oath or attestation to serve the Queen and to uphold the law of the land, or common law. They have no authority to enforce commercial law, the law of the sea, unless you consent. They are obliged to honour their oath when requested and produce evidence of their oath on demand. If they refuse, they dishonour the Queen and her oath to uphold the law of the land. And of course those who have sought to uphold and preserve the law of the land and customs and traditions of the country. As Stephen Barry was summoned to the Magistrates' Court. I am a lay representative appointed by the agent for Mr Stephen Barry, who is here with us today, sir. And with this legal advisor, sir. Sorry? Is this legal advisor? I am a lay advisor, sir, appointed by the legal... The, the law. Yes, sir, you may not address the court, and I am not addressing you, sir. Mr Barry, yes, please. We claim common law jurisdiction, sir. Mr Barry, you know that? Mr Barry is here in the court, sir. Mr Barry, I want you to stand in the... Have you got your first again? Then the clerk stands up and abandons the court. This is Mr. Stephen Barry, a birth certificate, a piece of paper, in full view for the clerk and court to see. The clerk had abandoned the court, then returns with the magistrates. This still shows the moment when the members of the public showed that they did not consent to the jurisdiction of a commercial court. This was shown by not standing up when the magistrates entered the room. The layman then made it clear that common law jurisdiction was being claimed. So with all due respect, we claim common law jurisdiction. The layman repeatedly asks the magistrates if they are on oath. They do not honour their oath because they are purely there for issuing summary judgment for profit. In this case, for themselves, the council, and of course, the commercial court. The clerk again reverts to issuing orders to gain jurisdiction, but the public gallery and the layman stand their ground. Jurisdiction has again been denied. The magistrate is trying anything to get jurisdiction by assuming the layman is standing for the magistrates, which would give them jurisdiction. The clerk regains some honour by advising the magistrate the lay adviser was already standing, and standing under common law when the magistrates entered the court. The magistrates have abandoned the court as they have not gained jurisdiction and therefore have no authority, and neither does the clerk. Yes, he can do that. The clerk fails to address the steward's question. Are you coming out tomorrow? Yes, sir. No, all the people. 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 All
The lay advisor repeats his request for a constable to be called to the court. The court clerk then advises that the police have already been called. This is not the case, as only a member of the public gallery had at this point called the police. It is left to the stewards to do the clerk's dirty work. It appears that only now the court usher is calling the police. The lay advisor retrieves the birth certificate, Mr. Stephen Barry, the person that was summoned to appear in the court. The steward looks bewildered. However, he did the right thing by not using force. The steward makes peace with the lay advisor. A few minutes later, the police arrive. The constable listens as the lay advisor explains he has asked for the magistrate's oath and there has been no breach of the peace. The constable has been asked by the lay advisor to honour his oath, which he does. He is now upholding the law of the land and acting as a peace officer. The constable explains the situation to his men and asks them to stand down. However, the sergeant claims that the court belongs to the magistrates, which is untrue. All the officers in yellow are sympathetic to the lay advisor and honouring their duty to uphold the law. Lay advisor asks for the written order from the magistrates to be produced before he leaves the court. Sergeant agrees and goes to get the order. Twenty minutes later, Sergeant returns without a written order. The Sergeant keeps implying that the Law Society will investigate any grievance. The Sergeant returned twice more, without the written order. Mr. Stephen Barry, the legal fiction, the birth certificate, is once again produced in court, for and on the record. All on the record, I twice see the barrier in front of the court. Okay, so anybody in this courtroom prepared to identify themselves as Steve Barrett. So I didn't think about the court previously. For the record, I'm on the record, okay? There's nobody in this room now who's Steve Barrett. Would you like me to bring Steve Barrett to the court, sir? Steve Barrett, please come to the court. 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 But not the first, yeah. all these people yeah. who are not answering to them to Stephen Barry did not stand when half of these certain matches took that as a mark. The clerk asks for those who did not stand to leave or be removed. The constables honour their oaths by not responding to the clerk's orders. This is Mr. Stephen Barry. He's a legal fiction writer. You've been asking me for. I've called Steve Barry. Mr. Stephen Barry is in the court seat. 
We are still waiting for the magistrates to produce a written order. However, time is money, and the council's solicitor, although being paid a small fortune, is getting restless. Her fee has been estimated at around £450. The hearing is to establish liability for £308. Sergeant returns for the last time with no written order. Lay advisor asks once again for a written order. Yes or no would suffice, but Sergeant is still in full on BS mode, as there is no written order. <laughs> Mr. Stephen Barry, the legal fiction, or birth certificate, is once again produced in court, for and on the record. For on the record, I place Stephen Barry in front of the court. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, those in the public gallery, by remaining seated, deny the corporate court jurisdiction. The magistrate then throws in the old contempt of court chestnut, yet they still have no jurisdiction. As the magistrates have abandoned the court for the third time and have never had jurisdiction, the lay advisor informs the court he is now the highest authority and leads the lay advisors out of the court. The only jurisdiction in the court was therefore common law, and the police constables honoured their oath. Case dismissed under common law. <laughs> the clerk and magistrates failed in all their attempts to get jurisdiction. The legal fiction appeared in court three times. The lay advisor remained in control of the court. The magistrates could not make a judgment and threw in the towel. The alleged offences committed by the clerk, solicitors, magistrates and counsel include conspiracy to defraud, fraud, obstruction, perjury, dereliction of duty, deception, treason and wasting police time. Whilst your associates informed me that you were present in court, it is unfortunate that you did not make yourself known to me or the court. 
Stephen Barry registered his name on arrival at court and was seen by 14 witnesses. Mr. Stephen Barry, legal fiction summonsed, was presented to the court on three occasions. This too was seen by 14 witnesses and also by you watching this film. This makes the counsel, solicitors and magistrates testimony spurious. And if that's not bad enough, the hearing started at 12.30 as the clerk delayed the case for two and a half hours. But the liability order was signed at 10 a.m. before the hearing. Yes, before the hearing. Judgment was passed before the case was even heard. Liability order in respect of council tax. Date, 21st of January 2010, 1000 hours, Cumbran Magistrates Court.